Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever and wherever you are. I'm Hamas28, and today we're taking a look at part 3 of the HBM mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. Let's get started. Now, in the last two parts, we looked at the guns over at the weapon range. We looked at the low tier explosives over in the wastelands in that direction. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the much more fun explosives. To set it off, I rigged this explosive wall to end, to open up the next area. And I also gave myself cancer in the process. I did not mean to search cancer, I needed milk. No, milk. Dying. Ah, perfect. So, by walking through the crater of the wall, I built Took, actually took a while, but it's so satisfying to watch it destroy itself. We can take a walk down and look at the very dangerous, very explosive nuclear weapons and missiles. Now, I did sort this out in terms of, you know, weapon strength and scale. You have the smaller missiles over here leading up to the big one over there. And you have the some of the smaller nuclear weapons they're kind of out of order, they're in range of their grouping, so you have those two, you know, the fat man and the little boy, you have the hydrogen bomb, and the two experimental nuclear devices. But, those ones, we can't actually detonate on the pedestal, it will wipe out the entire area, which means we're going to have to fly to another location. But the missiles are fun in the uh, words, in the act, that you launch them from a distance. As you can see, you use this item here, the long range target designator, and in combination with the missile and a battery, in this case an infinite battery, because I can, you can target stuff from a distance and blow it up. Let's target that building, for instance. And this is a high explosive missile that I've loaded in. We're going to put in the long range target de designator and the infinite battery. Once done, you're going to need a way to trigger it. It is done through a designator thingy mabob, which can be found over... Drum roll please, I'm stalling for time as I find the item. Find the item. Like so. So now that this detonator is linked to the missile launcher, you, it's as simple as a one, a two, a three. There it goes. I hope I did not wipe out the whole staging area. Well that was very anticlimactic. Like I wanted explosion, I wanted stuff to disappear. It doesn't look like anything happened. That was a letdown. Let's see. This is an incendiary missile. Let's launch it at the same place. And let's see if it rains hellfire upon the building. Oh, there's some, some fallout in that area. Let's see, could it possibly be I'm too far? Hmm. Let's see, those missiles were quite the letdown. The first one did absolutely nothing, the second one did the same. I assume since it's an incendiary weapon, it probably would work better if you launched it at a group of trees. But in this desert staging ground, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Let's see if these next missiles won't disappoint. We have the strong cluster missile. Now this one I know for a fact is quite dangerous which means I can't actually shoot it at that building because there's a risk that I blow up the rest of the staging area. So we're going to go a bit farther. See, there's a tower I was testing on stuff earlier. We're going to hit this area over here. This looks far enough to be safe. Let's, let's hit that cactus way over there. Done. Actually, let's go a bit farther. That cactus over there. Now, the reason I have to target something so far away is because the cluster bomb actually blows up without hitting the target. It's going to blow up above the target and rain down a ton of smaller 
missiles, basically, smaller explosives, to do its job. So you're going to link it and launch. Now let's actually fly after it to see it explode in action. See, there it goes, reaching the apex of its flight as it reaches the target area. The cluster bomb does not chunk load the area, which is why you do have to follow it just a bit. Let's see this thing go. It's falling, falling. Let's. See. Oh, there it goes. It exploded. There's all the cluster charges falling through the sky. So as you can see there, it's not a big explosion, it's many smaller explosions that are put together to create a greater damaging effect. While a massive crater is fun, this is also interesting to look at, the effects. Because if you're looking to wipe out an area, you can. But this one, more fun to look at, as all the areas that are hit are quite random. Going to the next missile. I actually don't remember what missiles I loaded in. There's actually quite more than just the, the six I put in, but I wanted to show off these six. Now this is a strong, heavy explosive missile. Let's see if this does anything to that building. Now I do know that that's like, what's it called? Indestructible to bombs, but let, let's hit the side of it. Let's see what happens if it hits the side. Position set and fire. Now let's see, let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here. And it missed the target. Oh, but it does have these smaller explosions off to the side. Quite the letdown. These missiles, they aren't as exciting as I thought they would be. But the big the big three at the end, they shouldn't last now. Now this one is an endothermic missile. Which is probably gonna be boring, not gonna do much. So we're gonna skip these two. This one, it's fire, that one's ice. But this one, this one's the Doomsday Missile. It has Doomsday in the name. Let's target, hmm. I can't, I don't actually know the range of this missile. I don't know how big it's going to hit. Let, let's actually, let's hit this, this research tower over here. Target locked. It's actually very close, only a couple chunks away. But let's, let's see how dangerous this actually is. Can't be too bad, can it? Let's see the damage it does. Now that one, that one was quite spectacular. Look at it. The explosions are still going off. If I, <laughs> the sun struggled to move because the game couldn't keep up with the explosions. If it wasn't just a still image, you wouldn't have even noticed that the frames dropped. And it's still exploding. This is wild. That entire observation tower has been wiped out. Oh, and it's hitting over here a bit, actually. That's, that might not be good. There's these very dangerous heavy weapons over here. And we've returned, as you can see, the doomsday weapon inflicts a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure my frames have dropped by quite a bit. Yep, <laughs> 35 FPS. That That's hilarious. Oh, it's dropping even harder before it's going to pick itself back up. It's probably because the explosion caused a lot of these sand blocks to fall. Yep, that's definitely it. All of those small blocks have to be rendered now. And there's there's no easy way to get rid of them. But if I just don't look at the problem, my FPS will increase a lot. Now let's take a look at the nuclear weapons. That doomsday missile, it was fun. But these, these I expect will be even more fun. Now this is the gadget. Gadget is more fun than those two combined. We're going to be launching this one before all the other ones. And it's going to take the place of those two right there. Because that one, just a smaller version of the Fat Man. Batman's just a smaller version of the gadget. Let's grab the gadget here. And you, it does have some tools that are required to, to use it. You're going to need four bundles of propellant. 
Oh, not the small propellant, the bundle. You're going to need wiring. You're going to need a plutonium core. Now, if that plutonium core doesn't scare you, oh, the explosion. The explosion will. And it looks like <laughs> the doomsday missiles are still actually falling a bit as we come in and render that area. Now, let's see. You're going to need to fly quite far. Oh, I actually gave myself cancer. So let's inject ourselves with some adrenaline. We give ourselves some awesome here to move quite fast. You can see just how fast you can run with this drug. It's even faster than walking. Oh, some explosions are still going off over here. I think this is where we detonated the cluster charge. And this building over here will make a great test site for the gadget. This should be far enough. Let's place it down. We're going to drink some milk to get rid of all of the buffs it gives you. Because playing with this FOV is actually really annoying. Delete the gadget. Don't I got rid of... Oh, it's because... Yeah, when you're holding a plutonium core, it gives you cancer. That, that's something everyone should realize. So you put in your propellant, you put in your wiring. As you can see, it shows that it's getting full there the plutonium core in, and when this indicator shows up, that means you're ready to go. Let's take a step back from this one. Now that's the explosion. Look at that, <laughs> that terrible mushroom cloud. But as you can see, the explosion is taking out massive areas of the sand. The game is slowly rendering the explosion like line by line to render the size of the blast. If you look, you can't even see, if you look to the left and right of the screen, you could see that, that gray line that's fading to the left and to the right. That's actually the, the ring of smoke that was generated by the bomb that's actually so large it's outside the render distance. And as we get closer, it's actually still exploding. It just stopped loading for a second because we got too far away. As you can see, the walls of the explosion radius are still growing. Radiation is developing all around. The only thing left of this building is a husk. All the wood on it has actually turned... It's actually burnt. It's actually petrified now. The chest is destroyed. And now the radioactive fallout is falling. Let's get out of here. What is that? Oh, there was a, a dungeon actually over there. So as you can see, we detonated it way, way, way over there. The explosion radius was far, far over here. Now let's get back to the staging area to take a look at the next weapons we're going to be firing off. Now that we're back at the staging area, we can take a look at the last four. You have the IV mic. Four propellant, a plutonium charge, some deuterium, some other stuff. That's... That's boring. Look at it. It's a giant cylinder. Where's the fun in that? Now this, this is the, the, yeah, how, whenever I see this word, my mind always goes blank. The Tsar Bomba. Actually, one of the biggest nuclear weapons developed in our age. Very dangerous, but not quite as fun as the experimental ones. Now this one, the Flesia. I actually have barely any idea how it works, which is why we're going to skip the most dangerous bomb available in the mod pack, the prototype. So you're going to need to fill all of this stuff with deuterium by the looks of it. It's actually quite simple when you have magical creative powers like myself. Now when filling the prototype, you're going to easily find all the available stuff by looking in the resources and parts. I have no idea what goes in it though. But I know it's this stuff, so let's fill it with, let's see, antimatter, exposure to matter will create a fulcrum field, shrubidium. I'm blind, why am I blind? Is it one of the things that gave me? It might be one of the things I'm holding, that would make sense, let's see, drop those. Oh crap! Huh, well I definitely did not expect that at all. 
That just goes to show you, when you're handling very volatile chemicals, you definitely should not just toss them at the floor. So let's see, exposure to matter will lead to violent annihilation. Exposure to metal will create a folk vanger field. Now that sounds fun. Let's grab a couple of these. Let's grab the prototype. It didn't have to be like this, you monster. I don't know. It sounds fun. So load in that. We're going to need... What is this? What is that? Mean? What does it mean? It looks like... Something. Ah, here we go. It looks like energy cells, but look. Ah, here we go. Some rods. Depleted quadritium, rubidium. Grab some of those. It's actually giving me cancer again. Now, either this is color coded, or I can actually just put in whatever I want. Grab some more of that. I'm blind now. What about what about the quad rods? Now nah, I shouldn't risk it. I also aren't gonna. T I also am not going to toss these on the ground this time. Let's see the last six. It is now full, and either this is going to work or it's not. Link it. I wonder what will happen. Hmm, nothing is happening. And I have returned with the knowledge to learn that there's actually kits available that would let that would tell me exactly what I need to do. So you grab your prototype kit. Let's see, you right click with it, and it gives you everything you need required to detonate the prototype. Huh, I probably should have emptied my inventory first. And now right click the kit, it gives us everything we need. So link this. No? Okay, so the shrubidium cells go in there. Now they're color coded, lead to the purple. Neptunium to the Neptunium, the Uranium to the Uranium. We have this. Ah! I'd be scared, but I can't see. And it's bedrock. What happened? The explosion is still happening. It's actually overpowering my voice. Just, just a bit. Let's drink the milk to see what just happened. I think I was better off staying blind. The entire world has been wiped out. The explosion radius is massive. Oh, frames are dropping. Oh wait, no, there looks like the edge of the of the explosion radius. The game is struggling to render what just happened. Sand is falling, sand is being destroyed. The explosion is still going on in slow motion. Let's get to the, the side of the crater here. Let's see, let's juice myself up so I can run around the crater. See, where is the fun juice? Oh. Oh, I stabbed myself multiple times at the siren. Run, run along the side here. You can't even, the game can't even render. Well, actually it can. Let's bump it to 32. And see if, it, if we can see the other side of the crater. See, there's the bedrock. As it loads in, let's fly up a bit. I should probably get rid of the, the awesome. Fix the FOV. And let's see the size of this crater, and it's magnificent. Absolutely massive. 
it extends all the way to the horizon. I'm actually scared to move because it might de-render the area. Look at it. Look at that. You can't even look at the bedrock. There's these weird artifacts being caused by the optical illusions generated by the colors. You can zoom in here. Look at that. That's just pure bedrock for chunks. You can see all the way to the edge, and it's like looking up the side of a mountain, but that's, that's the crater. Magnificent. This has been Homish28 looking at the HBM mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. I'll see you next time.